Fun fact, I actually plan doing exactly the opposite video, why you should supplement creatine. In fact, the last time I supplemented creatine was just yesterday. In my research though, I realized that creatine, although severely studied, may not be that good of a supplement. Your body can create energy in different ways. One of them is using creatine. For example, if you go for a sprint, the first few seconds probably feel amazing. Endless power, no fatigue, happiness. But when you suddenly hit that 8 seconds mark while sprinting, it starts to burn, it hurts and you want to quit. Your body now stopped using creatine as its main fuel and switched to carbohydrates. Meaning creatine is the key element in you being able to do fast, short duration movements. Therefore this molecule is a crucial part in weightlifting and also thinking. Creatine is produced inside of your body and can also be consumed with meat, fish or supplements, which are mostly vegan by the way. Therefore it's only logical, especially for vegans, to supplement creatine, am I right? So I thought, but according to different studies, your body is a lazy piece of shit. Remember, your body always goes for the way of least resistance. So instead of normally producing the creatine and using the supplement on top of that, your body slows down the creatine production. Why use energy to produce my own if I'm getting it in anyway? Think about this example, if you would win the lottery, chances are high that you wouldn't go to work tomorrow, am I right? Just assuming you're not Casey Neistat. So most studies that actually showed positive effects with creatine supplementation were only short term, when your body didn't slow down the creatine production yet. On top of that, approximately 30% that take creatine see no effect at all. That may be because creatine is mostly effective for people with lower creatine content and more muscle fibers. For example, in this study that compares vegetarians with meat eaters, only the vegetarians get a thinking boost. Why? Because meat eaters are used to creatine in their diet. Remember, fish and meat contains creatine. But in vegetarians, the body produces all creatine that it needs on its own. So the supplementation gives it a huge boost. But creatine supplementation isn't necessary for both groups. Probably even the opposite. Creatine combined with an unhealthy diet may promote cancer. Because creatine can be turned into metabolites with the help of E. coli, a bacterium that is found in animal crap and therefore mostly in animal food. Also, especially in the USA, the supplement industry is badly regulated, which means supplements could contain impurities which would lead to bad health effects in the long term. Too bad there aren't any long term studies yet. So should you supplement creatine? It really depends. If you're a meat eater, generally speaking, no. If you're an athlete and don't care about your health, maybe. If you're a vegan that wants to be smarter, maybe. If you're a vegan that wants to be smart and works out regularly, maybe. If you're a meat eater that thinks about becoming a vegan but is afraid because of the creatine loss, then yes. What I want to say is that a healthy diet full of water, fruits and vegetables is the foundation and an absolute must. Before you think about any supplementation, get your diet right. Looking at creatine, there may be possible bad health effects in the future that we don't know yet. But if you really want to try it, use a pure creatine. I will link one in the description. Try it for 2-3 to three weeks, 5 grams and then pause for at least double the time. Hey you, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time, thank you for your trust. Remember to stay safe.